Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Bones with QCDesigns.com. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to create a PayPal button for your SoundClick or your website or whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, you're going to need this PayPal button for people to shop on your website. They're going to click options, they're going to hit buy now, and you're going to get the payment, their info, and you're going to be good to go. So let's start off with log into your PayPal account. After you log in, you'll see that there's these tabs up here, add or my account, send money, request money, merchant services. Click on the merchant services tab. It's going to open up this, this page that you see right now. After you get that open, you're going to click create payment buttons for your website. Now you got this screen that opens up. Make sure that you're on buy now button. You're going to go down to item name. Item name is just going to be, let's say uh, you're trying to sell beats online. You're going to put buy a beat. Item ID, just leave that blank. Price, leave that blank as well because you're going to want to add drop down menus, which is right here. Click that. It's going to drop this down and this is what it, this is what a drop down menu is. You're going to have different options. Pretty much, if you if you sell like T-shirts, you got you know different colors, different sizes, that kind of stuff. And if you're selling beats, you're gonna do one lease or however many leases you want to start out with. And the prices, put your own prices or use these ones. It doesn't matter. So I put three, and then this one's gonna be five leases. Now, if you want more options say if you want three different options for leases and then add another one for premium one premium lease whatever your price would be on that add another one for one exclusive price and that's pretty much that I mean you can add as many as many drop down items as you want usually what I would do is just stick to leases and premiums exclusives People are mainly gonna they're gonna email you first or call you before they before they go buy in that. Um, also the name, name of your drop down menu. I'd put buy a beat. That's gonna pop up above this thing, so it'll tell them what, what they're purchasing here. Uh, you can add even more drop down menus if you want. So you got two different drop down menus. I wanna do that, I would just keep one, keep it simple for them. Lastly, you're gonna add a text field. You're gonna need this text field for beats because you're gonna need beat names. So when you hit this done button, it's gonna show you the, the preview. So buy a beat, they'll see that. They'll see your different options. They can choose whichever one they want. Beat names, they're gonna insert the instrumentals. Say if they want three leases, they're gonna insert three lease names pretty much from your website. So that way you know what beats to send them. And uh, your email, People always want to add another text field for their email addresses, but PayPal, in order to have a PayPal account, you need an email address. When people buy something, PayPal sends you the info. It's going to say payment received from their email at yahoo.com, whatever the hell they're using. So it's going to give you their email. Just send, just tell people that you're going to send the beat files to their PayPal email. That way there's no confusion there. And uh, more than likely, you're going to get people emailing you either before or after they buy it. Probably, it's rare that you get someone that just buys it and just lets you do it on your own. You know, it's it's a big trust issue. They're gonna call you or either before or after. So after you get that done, you got your button all set up. Um, don't worry about no other options. This is perfect. And uh, you can use different different uh, options, whatever. I would keep everything down here and on the step two and three. I won't even touch those. This is all you're gonna need. So. Click create button and for your website, of course, it's going to give you an HTML code. For all my clients that, I, that I'm designing for that are watching this video, this is what I'm going to need. So copy this and then send it, send this to me in an email and then I'll take care of the rest for you. I'll, I'll put it up in your, in your sound click page. You'll be good to go. This is what your buyer is going to see. More than likely, I'm going to put a different button. If you buy a custom page. I'm going to make this button fit your page. So other than that, man, you're good to go. You can create more buttons. This button's going to save into your save button. So anytime you want to edit this button, you're going to click on merchant services and then um, edit your button from there. Uh, let me know if you guys got any more questions. If you guys want some more tutorials on 
on a more in-depth buttons and subscriptions with more options and stuff. Just let me know. I'll make some more. All right.